Hi, this is Craig Newman with a uh, quick video tutorial on how to set up a subdomain within your DreamHost account. This is going to allow you to uh, complete your final assignment for the winter story digital storytelling uh, section. You can use this method though to set up subdomains um, really for anything. If you want to do a subdomain for just your Medill reporting, if you want to do something for just personal stuff, whatever, you can do that. Uh, but for this, uh, this exercise we're just going to do it for the final so you'll have to go to DreamHost and log on. Only one of you in the group is going to have to complete this task because your final uh, group assignment is going to be uh, located in the same subdomain. So, all right, go into Manage Domains if you're not already there, and we're going to add a new subdomain. All right. Where it says domain name, this is where you're going to uh, add the name. I would suggest you do something like final and then dot whatever your site is. So mine would be final.craigmnewman.com. Now I already set up a subdomain like that, so I am going to create a fake one uh, for the purposes of this video, and I'm going to call it uh, assignment. Newman.com. Okay, so let's scroll down here and make sure that we have everything checked. That needs to be checked, and I think we're okay. And fully host this domain. And it'll take a second or two. And then you should get uh, something that looks like this saying success. It's going to tell you it could take up to a few hours uh, maximum time for your subdomain to begin working. It probably won't take that long. Okay, and then you can see right here is the subdomain I just set up assignment.craignewman.com. And then you want to go to your one click installs. and install new website software. This is just like when we set up WordPress for the first time. And I'm going to install it to assignment.craignewman.com and I'm going to have it create a database for me. And there it says success. WordPress will be installed to www.assignment.craignewman.com within 10 minutes. And I'll go ahead and check over there real quick. I doubt it's ready to go yet, but sometimes it goes through kind of quick. Yep. Hasn't uh, populated my database yet. But if I go to final.craignewman.com, which I set up last night, and I've already added a theme to it. It's just the same as what we've been doing, the same WordPress install as what you've been working with in class. Uh, so from there, it'll start you off with the ugly blue screen default uh, WordPress site, and you can start tooling around and looking at, uh, at themes to use for your final project. Um, so that should help you walk through the process for setting up a subdomain. It's pretty easy, as you can see. Um, like I say, you can set up numerous subdomains to really do anything you want. Obviously for this exercise we're just going to do it for the final. Uh, if there are any questions, as always, uh, you can hit me at email newman.craig at gmail.com or ask your instructors if you're not in my class. And I uh, hope you find this helpful. Good luck with the final.